In this video, I'll show you the difference between a monoatomic ion and a free element. Let's begin by defining and looking at what an element is and what an ion is. So we're going to keep it basic right now. And an element, the definition of an element is it's the simplest form of matter. They cannot be broken down into smaller components and we find them and they're arranged in the periodic table. So if I flash up the periodic table, as you can see here, all of those symbols represent elements. I could choose any of them, whether it's a, a metal or non-metal, but let's look at hydrogen, for example. It is an element. There is no charge on it right now. It's just symbol as H. We could look at chlorine as well. It's another element from the other side of the periodic table, and those are two examples of elements. We can look at ions, which are charged atoms or molecules. So elements don't have charges, ions do. They get their charge by either gaining or losing an electron. Let's look at hydrogen. It has a plus one charge because it is in group one, and that plus one means it loses one electron to become an ion. It moves from an atom to an ion. Chlorine is in group 17. It's going to gain one electron because of that negative one charge. But if we're talking about ions, we have to talk about oxidation numbers or oxidation states. And the oxidation state describes how many electrons the atom has gained or lost. Here you can see chlorine has an oxidation state of negative one. It's gained one electron. Hydrogen has an oxidation state of plus one as it's lost one electron. A free element now let's get into a little bit more detail here. A free element, to answer your question, is an element that's not chemically bonded or combined in any other way to another element. Its oxidation number is always going to be zero for a free element. Oxidation number is zero. Let's look at the example of sodium. Symbol is Na. It really has a charge of zero here, but it's a neutral element. It's a free element we don't write the zero, so get rid of it. We could also look at something like sulfur, which has a charge of zero as a free element, and we don't write it. So free elements always have an oxidation number or charge of zero. Monoatomic ions, these are mono meaning one, so there is one atom, and that one atom has a charge. So essentially a monoatomic ion is a charged atom. The oxidation state or number is always what the charge is on the atom. Sodium is a monoatomic ion. It has a plus one charge. Sulfur is also a monatomic ion. It has a two minus charge. So we can look at those two things. And the big difference between a free element and a monoatomic ion is free elements have zero charge. Their oxidation number is zero. Monoatomic ions have a charge, and their oxidation number is that specific charge. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below video ideas you'd like to see. And please subscribe to the How-To Scholar for more how-to videos.